Hey everybody, Bo here with an update on our 6x14 cargo trailer conversion rolling thunder cabin on wheels. Hey, check it out. We built a little docking station on the back and uh, this is great for when I'm loading it. So one of my big goals in building this uh, cargo trailer conversion was light, keeping the weight light and simplicity being able to pull in and uh, set up in minutes or be able to pull over on the side of the road and uh, go inside and cook lunch or hang out even open up the back if you want to so today's an exciting day we are heading up the mountain up into Rollinsville uh, with our new to us tow vehicle so stay tuned as I set this thing up and put the solar away and ice in the cooler and away we go. Frozen ice jugs. Frozen Gatorade. These are for the refrigerator inside. Ice. More ice. All right. Hey, I have this on. This is plugged in and it's running on electricity right now. So what I'm going to do is put these in the freezer. Oh, hey, actually that works out pretty good. I like one solid block because I think it'll last longer, but we'll see how this does with uh, let's see, four Gatorades in there. So, so when we're docked, I like to uh, keep the solar panel in the sun and then when we hit the road I store it under the bed. Eventually I'd like to put one on the roof and have this as well. We generally like to find camping spots where we're in the shade to keep the camper as cool as possible. But when I'm docked like this, this is nice because it makes a great uh, mobile office as well. Show you how it slides in there, right under the bed and then it locks to the post. Now before I disconnect the power or reconnect the power, I always make sure that the refrigerator is off. Since I do not have a surge protector and I don't have anything plugged in to worry about a surge on, I turn this completely off. That way uh, when I connect and disconnect after it's fully connected then I turn it back on if I have AC power. Now this is going to be cooled by frozen Gatorade bottles, four of them in the freezer. And when it's uh, running, it'll keep those frozen. And when we're driving, it'll keep everything in there cool. Usually get about three days out of that. Next. Now one of the things I love most about this cargo trailer are the flip down stabilizer jacks in the back. They make setup and breakdown so quick and so easy. And there's a simple easy trick to them is all you need to do is just lower your front end 
uh, down below level and then flip down your jacks and then raise it back up. So we'll do the opposite when we're uh, breaking down. So I'll lower this down, flip them up, and then I'll have to uh, raise it back up to hitch it up to our new to us Forerunner tow vehicle. I like to uh, check for wasp or anything like that that may be under there before you uh, reach your hand under there. Okay, inside I have to make sure this is locked, and this is locked, it has a clip down there. I put the chairs on the floor, I'll put the table down, make sure this is connected real good. Everything looks good, everything's up, all my lanterns, night stuff, and we are good to go. Now to the front. So on the front, I just need to make sure this is locked. This is locked, which it is. This is good, it's tied in. And this is locked. We're good to go. It's that simple. Now I keep my, uh, my knives and um, utensils and everything. I put all that up when we are landed, but it all fits. Everything has to have a place. That's the one thing you have to remember when you build one of these things is build it so that everything you want has a place and you will stay very organized that way all right we are good to go All right, all right. Looks like we are loaded and ready to go. All I gotta do is wait for the wife and uh, up the hill we go. We're gonna take the uh, South St. Vrain Canyon over through Ward, Nederland, and then Rollinsville.
So we set up with the door facing the back because it kind of gives us a little private area back here. This is my private spot that I'm lucky to have and come to. A lot, you gotta like trains though. Oh, here you go, it's the Amtrak. And the Amtrak just went up and now one's coming down. I mooned the one going up. Uh, yacht club tradition. So again, for me, it is all about simplicity. Setting up, I dropped those two back uh, stabilizers, get a level, it takes me just a couple minutes, and we're good to go. Take the solar panel out. So I wanna put another canopy on the other side where the door is, but this back, I think it's going to work out really well. Alright, here's a view of the door side. So I'm thinking about maybe putting a sail over here. Uh, something really easy also. Three points to clip in with carabiners. And um, one pole. I think that would be perfect. My dream canopy is the uh, cabana in a bag. It's like a dome. We had it on our pop-up camper and it was fantastic. Anyway, it's a uh, cabana. Now it's a cabana in a bag and it's a dome uh, on the end. It's really good in wind. You can open up each side if you want as the big doors windows however you want to configure it but it was one of the sturdiest things I've ever had and they used to be really inexpensive and now they have gone up from a couple hundred dollars to over eight hundred dollars if you can pick one up for six you're you're doing pretty good and it's a cabana and it is made by Dometic and it was made for teardrops or the larger teardrops another view from the back and again I have a couple side panels everything is six by eight the rug the top tarp and then I have two side tarps that go on with tarp bungee cords so depending on where we're at and what the setup is. Here I don't really need the side panels. Trains. My favorite spot. The maiden voyage. So far so good. So the temperatures here will drop uh, tonight into the 30s. Normal would be 40s, maybe high 40s if it gets real cold, low 40s. But we're going to be fortunate enough to be in the 30s.
not my best work. Okay, breakfast is served. Here's our new setup. Added a little burner on the side. And of course, we always have to have a little garlic rice. Whoa, all right, cheers. Say hello, Madonna. Breakfast in the morning. This is the first time we've eaten outside in a long time, and it is drop dead gorgeous out here. Perfect temperatures this morning, so thanks for joining us for breakfast. So, every year, geese come up here and uh, try and raise their goslings on this pond. Usually, they start off with about six goslings, but uh, they have a hard time making it up here because of the prey coyotes and uh, everything else that's up here. So it's uh, on this pond it's been very rare that they make it to uh, full growth. It's kind of a sad thing but that's just the way it is up here. They have a better chance down below. Hey, check it out. We, uh, since there's nobody up here, I decided, you know what? I'm just going to turn this thing around because of, this is how we normally park it, but we've never had the cabana on the back. So we wanted to try the door faced uh, towards the uh, little wall on the back. It's a real private area. But I think this works better because of the slope of the uh, terrain. So I can use my toolbox step and the back of the trailer where the cabana is is more ground level than being way up so and this is being level so far we are loving this setup and the forerunner is a great tow vehicle i think weight wise to the trailer and to the tow capacity uh, it works really well so it will be nice to unhitch and then have the forerunner to tool around in. That's the whole thing about pulling a trailer versus driving a uh, C or a van or kind of like uh, having this because it gives us the space and also the vehicle. So right now I have the blackout drape down and this is really great because if somebody wants to just hang out there and relax when it's up somebody can be inside and you can hang out with them even on uh, when you're on the outside. So my wife Madonna will be hanging out comfy in the little nest area and I can hang out on the outside and we can still talk to each other and hang out. And when you put down the blackout, it makes it nice because it stops the uh, breeze from roaring through. So you can control the uh, climate a little bit better. But it's great when you have it up and you get a nice breeze if it's really hot. That's the point of having the back open and the pass through like that. We like it because we put everything on the back. I close it up and we can access everything from the inside. We flip the cooler around so you can access it from the bed and we're good to go. It's all about simplicity, easy setup, easy takedown, and weight pulling it. Well, so far the maiden voyage has been uh, with the Forerunner has been a success. We're halfway there. We just have to uh, see how it is getting up the hill and down the hill. But this setup is working out fantastic. This is the first having it set up with the awning in the back and the rug and the table. 
a uh, new grill set up and I also wanted to one burner so I can do coffee or whatever <clears throat> cook outside so the outside kitchen is complete so if you're thinking about doing a cargo trailer conversion check it out well again this is a 6x14 I think a 7x14 is a great size the tandem axle is definitely the way to go if you have the pool vehicle my problem is with a six cylinder uh, this is about as high as I want to go and I think we come in maybe 2400 pounds on this kept it really simple but uh, usability putting things where storage is a lot but in places that you get the big bang for the buck and if you're doing a six wide trailer these six by eight tarps and the carpet six by eight they're really common easy to find and inexpensive so i have six by eight side panels also that you put in with uh, bungee tarp cords every camping spot is different where you're at how level and you have to make it all work it's nice to have options starting to rain a little bit so we'll move the table in so far the awning's been holding up keeping us dry we haven't had any major major downpours to really test it in but I also wanted something if it does get really windy that I can take down and button up real quick so it was a little chilly and our heater buddy went out the first night I haven't mentioned that I don't think so uh, we've been heaterless but luckily we have a lot of uh, blankets to stay warm but this is it we are I'm making some coffee Madonna's sleeping in and uh, I'm gonna enjoy the morning and then we're heading down the road so this uh, test drive has been a success so far. We'll see how it is getting out of Ned. The hill getting out of Ned is unbelievable. Uh, you know, and it's either that or the canyon, Boulder Canyon, and I want to stay away from that. So, off to Ned we go in a little while.
right, so there's the kitchen. Again, this has been a great idea. Adds a lot of counter space. Stool. I suggest you keep as much open space as you can on your floor because that way you can fit more people in if you're just lounging or talking or even if you wanted to move something. Like I could move anything because I have such a 4x4 four four area open. Uh, let's see, what did I want to show you? Oh, these are pretty cool. This is a Harbor Freight. See any of these? These LED lights are getting cooler and cooler. So, okay, easy access storage. This is only about seven inches out, but it's amazing how much stuff you can put up there. And it's just enough space to put things that they don't move around too much. You can keep them pretty snug up there. So I keep certain things, electronics or things that I need real here. This is where the controller is for the solar panel. Uh, this is the inside light, outside light, and then this is the light front of here. And with a remote, I can change colors of those as well. We love our LED lights. We don't use the bright lights very often, but they're nice to have. The side lights give us ample enough. So the other thing also I'd like to mention is hooks, you can hang hats, stuff like that, clothes, coats, I put a temperature gauge here. I want to get an inside outside weather station eventually. It's on my wish list. So storage, oh and also in here is the medicine cabinet. So we have the medicine cabinet, this locks. And then the fireplace, we can only use that when we're plugged into shore power. We keep our toothbrush, toothpaste, keep my shaving kit up there, lanterns, night stuff. All the food stuff stays in the front. Everything has its place, though. These LED uh, lights are perfect because you can change the colors, do different things you want. We keep it on that most of the time. Sometimes I like the yellow. Keep the remote right there so you can turn it on and off like that. I also have a plug, DC plug with a cigarette lighter type plug. So two USB ports and a cigarette lighter plug. That way you can plug it into the stereo uh, iPad or whatever and it'll all power so you don't drain your battery. Thinking ahead, thinking ahead. Of course we have uh, six plug in the back and that's on its own circuit a view to the back a lot of open floor space we like having that we have our own dance floor if we want to cut the rug literally this is a new rug which we're loving that as well trying to keep it clean but it feels good on the feet and it's an extra layer of uh, insulation because ladies and gentlemen you do want to insulate underneath your trailer because a lot of cold air just comes creeping in. You can feel it from your knees down. Keep my lanterns. Check this out. I like this one. Oh, it's like kryptonite. Kryptonite, anyway. Harbor Freight. LED lights are getting cooler and cooler. Well, that concludes our tour. We are heading down the mountain. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Hope I'm giving you some ideas. If you've got any questions, comments, please put them down below. Also, subscribe to my channel. And I guess I'll just have to say, see ya!